He says the pushback can become so significant that disciples may actually make the decision that just this just isn't worth it. And I'm just going to quit believing in Jesus. I'm going to walk away from this. I'm going to live a different life. I'm going to believe a different. I'm going to say different things. The tension grows so much that, well, this just isn't worth it. Now, our culture right now is loaded with these kinds of stories. If you pay attention to these kinds of things, they're called deconversion stories. Some of these individuals are actually, they actually have been well-known Christians for a long time in the American evangelical world, and they come out publicly, and they've said, I've decided I'm no longer a Christian. And in every one of those deconversion stories that I have listened to and that I have read, the same thing happens every single time. One way or another, they say, I can no longer believe what Jesus says in this world, I'm embarrassed by it. I'm embarrassed by what I was taught in youth group. I'm embarrassed by what my family believes and I can no longer believe it. And it almost always includes the church's teaching on human sexuality. I just can't believe that in public anymore. What did Jesus say? I've told you these things because the pressure is going to come and you're going to have to make a decision. Which do I value more? Friends, listen to this. We need to decide that the world needs Jesus more than I need the world's affirmation. Let's sit on that for just a second. We need to decide that the world needs Jesus more than I need the world's affirmation. 